I opened a book and in I strode. Now nobody can find me. I've left my chair, my house, my road, my town and my world behind me. I'm wearing the cloak. I've slipped on the ring. I've swallowed the magic potion. I've fought with a dragon, dined with a king and dived in a bottomless ocean. I opened a book and made some friends. I shared their tears and laughter and followed their road with its bumps and bends to the happily ever after. I finished my book and out I came. The cloak can no longer hide me. My chair and my house are just the same, but I have a book inside me. In this clip, an emerging reader is completely immersed in her story. She's fully focused on the illustrations and is watching carefully when the adult models the use of the pod sheet from the homeschool book. In this clip, a child in a sensory class is showing his absolute love of stories. This clip shows how simple massage techniques can add a tactile sensory stimulation, which clearly enriches the story experience for this child. Hello, everybody. We're now going to partake in our bear hunt story massage. Let's have our warm up song. <laughs> It's time for story massage. It's time for us to come together, remembering to be kind and to listen to each other. We'll use our hands to share our stories, to sing our songs, and to learn new things. We'll work together and use our imaginations to have lots of fun. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What? A beautiful day. We're not scared. 
scared. Uh oh, grass. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. clip shows how with our most developing readers the adult begins to take a back seat allowing the child to set the pace and absorb the story however the support is still there scaffolding learning sharing interests addressing misconceptions and asking questions to develop the child's comprehension His hungry jaws reaching for Tom. With, with, with failing strength, Tom kicked out, throwing himself back to the surface. His chest was bursting for air. Once more, he fostered the bright patch of sunlight from the sea where Elena held. Who's Elena? Um, perfect girl in the story. Oh, okay. I mean, like his friend. Somehow he broke through the surface of the water near the boat. His, his master. His master searching for air. Soaking wet hair out of his eyes, he gasped and panted. Tom, Elena cried, is everything all right? Is, is something free? No, the, the key didn't fit, Tom. Tom's voice was hoarse. He ran, he ran up to the boat and grabbed the side. And then I dropped it. There's no way to get the colour off. And then his eyes widened in horror. What are we going to do? Tom's eyes fell on his... Scaffold. Scaffold. I believe. Never heard that word. Oh, oh sorry. I think. Ah. Uh. With Tom's eyes fell on, on, the, on his scabbard. I'll try this, he said. Unsheathing. Oh, his sword. What do you think unsheathing means? Like grabbing the sword? Oh, no, so a sheath is something that covers something. Oh. So he's pulling it out of the cover. In this clip, one of our older emerging learners shows us how a good story captures his imagination and stimulates him to communicate and share humour. And dropped it into Mr Twit's mug of beer. Can you do that? <laughs> when he wasn't looking, Mr. Twit sat there drinking his beer slowly. Oh! The froth made a white ring on the hairs around his mouth. He wiped the white froth onto his sleeve and wiped his sleeve onto his trousers. Is this story? Do you like it? Or you don't like it? Something's wrong. What do you think, Andre? Do you like the story? Yeah. yeah. Andre? More. You would like more? More of the story? Mm. Okay, that's lovely.